Hello and Eid Mubarak to you and your family. Basically, if you can read the title, today's video is about Eid wishes. So I'm going to share with you some sentences or maybe some uh, ideas that you can use to wish your friends, families, neighbors, and everyone around you. All right. So without further ado, let's start the speaking video to know more about those kind of greeting ideas. So let's start. During the celebration, sending Eid al-Adha wishes to your loved ones friends and everyone around you is is an amazing thing to do it's a plus especially if you are not able to meet them face to face on this particular day so what we can do is that sending a message the most common Eid al-Adha wish or not just an Eid al-Adha basically in any celebrations even in Eid al-Fitri uh, we can say happy Eid or Eid Mubarak. These are basically very common to be used in all celebra in both of the celebrations, like in celebrating um, uh, Ramadan and also in celebrating Eid Adha. So we can say Eid Mubarak to you and your family, or Happy Eid to you and your family. These are very common. The other one, you can say, wishing you a blessed Eid Adha. May Allah accept your sacrifice and grant your prayers. What does that mean? It means that you are wishing the other person to have a very amazing Eid or a very amazing day. So pray that his sacrifice, that his, uh, his actions will be accepted by Allah. This is number one. Number two. Wishing you a blessed Eid al-Adha with lots of laughter, joy and good health. In that. You are wishing the other person to experience great health, to be healthy and not sick. And also, you are wishing the, uh, this person to, to not be sad, to laugh all the time, to experience great things. Number three, I pray that Allah showers you with peace and prosperity in this life and the afterlife. Meaning that. You are wishing that this person experience good things in reality, like in this life and also afterlife. Afterlife meaning that in uh, like in paradise or in Jannah. May the blessings of Allah never leave your side. Meaning that you pray that this person continues to have the Allah's blessing every day without stopping. Wishing you and your family a happy and safe Eid day. Meaning that you are wishing this person to experience safety and also um, to enjoy happiness and not to be sad. I pray that this Eid brings happiness, prosperity and blessings to your door. Meaning that you are praying that this person experiences all the good things Plus blessed. Blessed, as we can say in Arabic, is Rahman, like Allah's Rahman. Wishing you a cheerful and spiritual Eid day. It means you are praying that this person experiences uh, like uh, happy things, cheerful things, spiritual. Spiritual is the same like Rahman, but in a different way. So if you don't want to use Rahmat or blessed in your sentence, you can use spiritual or you can say all my best wishes to you and your family on this occasion that means you are wishing this person and also the family to have an amazing day happy Eid al-Adha to everyone at your home in this message I feel this message is kind of cute because you are sending your love and prayers to everyone at home. So this is kind of cute. Maybe you can use it when you want to uh, send messages to your friends, your teachers, professors, and especially you are not and when you are not really sure who's there at home, uh, are they with the family or with friends or with you're not really sure. In this case, you can say Happy Eid al-Adha to you and to everyone at home. This is cute.
This one is really, really cute. Listen to it. I must be truly blessed by Allah that I can share the happiness of Eid with people as wonderful as you. Isn't that cute? What does that mean? It means that you are so happy to have this person in your life. And because of that, you feel really blessed by Allah to have uh, to have brought this person into your life. Uh, so basically, I chose these kind of uh, wishes to share it with you because I feel they are really cute and at the same time lovely. Please let me know in the comments which of these messages you like the most. Do you have other greetings that you like to use uh, with your family, friends, and everyone around you? Let me know in the comments, alright? Because I really want to know what kind of messages you like to send to everyone around you. Another thing that I want to tell you about is that you can actually use these greeting messages to wish your friends in Ramadan. So these are not just for Eid al-Adha. You can use them for Eid al-Adha and also for Ramadan because all of them are about Eid and the blessings of Eid. So usually in Eid al-Adha we can say Eid Mubarak and also in Ramadan we can say uh, Ramadan Mubarak or even Eid Mubarak. So basically because Mubarak here is coming from blessings. Do you like sending messages in English or in Arabic or in your language? Please let me know. If you like sending messages in your language, share it here in the comments with the, with the meaning as well, alright? So yeah, this is all from today's video. I really hope you are having an amazing and blessed uh, Eid uh, with you and everyone around you. I have an idea. How about if you let me know in the comments where do you come from and how do you guys celebrate Eid and maybe what kind of messages do you like using with everyone around you. This would be really amazing. I really want to know. So please let me know in the comments. I really wish you a blessed day with everyone around you. And uh, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you find this video helpful, please give it some like. And, uh, and I will see you on the upcoming video. Bye-bye.